video, you learnt about a new type of function called the quadratic function. Today we're going to have a look at how we work with this function. I'd like for you to pause the video and to try these questions on your own. Number one, sketch the graph y equals negative 2x squared plus 8. Clearly show the coordinates of the intercepts with the axes and the turning point. So that gives us a clue as to what we're going to need to calculate in order to draw this quadratic function. So whenever you are finding the x-intercept of a graph, and in the case of a quadratic there are two x-intercepts, we make the y value equal to 0. So 0 is equal to negative 2x squared plus 8, and if we divide through by negative 2, we get x squared minus 4, which factorizes into x plus 2, x minus 2, and from that we can conclude that x is equal to negative 2, or x is equal to positive 2. So that means that our x-intercepts will be negative 2 and 0, and positive 2 and 0. The y-intercept on any graph is the value when the x is equal to 0, so we're now going to substitute 0 in place of x to solve for y, and that gives us the point 0 and 8. Now as for the turning point on the graph, a quadratic function, if we just had the negative 2x squared, that function would have its turning point right at the origin, okay? The moment we add or subtract something from the x squared term, that shifts the graph up if we're adding, and it shifts the graph down if we're subtracting. So that means that the graph negative 2x squared has been shifted up by eight, uh, 8 units. So that means that our turning point will be exactly the same as our y-intercept. It will be at the point 0 and 8. Okay, so if we now want to sketch the graph, we can first plot our turning point. We can then plot our two x-intercepts at negative 2 and positive 2, and we can connect the three points with a smooth line. Remember to put arrows on the end of your parabola to show that it continues to infinity, and to label your parabola either with its functional label or with the equation of the graph if no function name was given. Okay, number two, f of x is equal to ax squared plus q. The turning point is at 0 and 2, so in other words we have shifted this graph two units up from the origin, and the graph passes through the point 3 and 29. Determine the values of a and q. So we know that the form of this equation is ax squared plus q, and we know from the turning point that to the x squared term we have added 2 in order to move it two places up. Now in order to solve for a, we can substitute in the point 3 and 29, because the 3 represents the x value of the graph, and the 29 represents the f of x or the y value on the graph. So 29 is equal to a times 3 squared plus 2. That gives us 9a plus 2 is equal to 29. Subtract 2 from both sides gives us 9a is equal to 27. And divide both sides by 9 gives you a equal to 3. So therefore your final equation for f of x is 3x squared plus 2.